me to record the jelly process. So here is, you can use any gloss medium. This is the one I had, so I'm using it. You need any stencil, your paints. I then take and put one clear coat of this down on a plastic sheet. The type of sheets that you put a document inside of. You can get them at Costco for $12.99 for an entire box and you can order them online. They'll ship directly. Then I let the first coat dry and it takes a long time, maybe 10 hours. And then you put the second coat down on top of the first clear coat. You cannot heat dry this because the plastic with the medium turns into a gobbly mess. Then when the second coat is dried and I left my second coat overnight to dry, I came in and put my stencil on top of the clear coat. I took paint and I put paint on any kind of a smooth item that you can layer it on. I held it down. In the past, I've taped it, but the taping seemed to cause a little buckling. I've taped the plastic down, but on the stencil, I just make sure that I've held it down and it's laying flat. Then I paint all on top of that, smoothly, softly. And then I pull the stencil up, wash the stencil, and now this will dry for about 12 hours or more. And once this dries, I will put another coat or two one coat at a time on the top of the color and let that dry. It sounds like a lot, but each step takes about five minutes. I just leave it on a board sitting on this table where I have a bunch of art stuff and I'll come back to it later tonight or tomorrow and be able to take that whole sheet. And I'm saving them now inside of a folder like this so I can take a whole sheet and store my sheets and have them available when I need them. If I had a binder, it'd be perfect because then you could just flip through your binder until you found the one you wanted to use for the day.